All right, you guys, I'm just going to show you guys my cap. This is the one that I had on. This is the lace closure that I had. This is um, Peruvian Hair Body Wave from March Queen Hair. This is the cap construction. I just put it on like a dome cap. I put the closure on, and now I'm going to go ahead and wash it. After I wash this, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair, condition my hair. So this is the wig after I washed it and conditioned it. This is the lace closure. I'm going to go ahead and put my foundation a little bit under it. The part is really good. I did bleach this, but I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of foundation so it can come through. Put this bad boy on my head and I'm going to show y'all. This. this is just me. I just threw the wig on. I did not do anything. This is the lace here. So right now I just put it on my head. You can see the part is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit and tack this down first let me just comb it a little bit i love when my hair is like freshly braided and then i put the wig on it feels so secure like you know when you get like fresh box braids it's tight but you like that feeling because it makes you feel like oh that's how i'm feeling right now so this is already brushed out. Let me go ahead and just put this back. I'm gonna pull this up. Before I do that, I usually come and I'll make a line where it stops. Okay, no, give me one minute. And then I'll put a line where it stops. So I know just where to put the um, glue at. Where's my clip? So what I'll do is go like this. You do not use a lot of this. But you do have to use three layers. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back after I do the third layers. This is the first one. This is only my second time using it. So I definitely am still learning. I'm not a pro. I'm not telling nobody to follow me, honey. But this is what I do. This is what I know. So the first layer was dry. You can see it's clear. The second time I'm not going to put, actually this is kind of too much. So I might not even do a third layer, honestly. But I didn't put like two rows of dots. I just did one. This is pretty much clear. So I'm just gonna take it and put it. Try to put these back because if you don't, your baby hairs and everything will be stuck. And I hate that. I really do. I'm not looking here, I'm looking there because the mirror is behind the camera. So just bear with me. And I'm kind of just pushing it in with my finger. Same thing I would do with my ragtail comb. Rag tail comb. I'm gonna let this sit and cook up with my scarf after I do this. Make sure these is back, I'm telling you. All right guys, so this is dry. That that goes on dry quick, so I usually don't even do this, but I had to go with the baby. I was toiled. So this is looking good. So I leave everything like this. Like I said, I brush this back. I do my baby hairs last because I really don't do too much. I'm gonna split this. Let's make it easier on myself. Do this one more time. I like to take. I got this from my local beauty supply store. 
and it's already hot. This thing, I think they said it goes up to 500, it's hot. And I done burned myself like twice. But I'm going to look in the mirror and I just kind of brush it down. Because you get, you know, the fly leaves. So I brush it down like that. Especially because it's freshly washed. Do the other side. This is just to make it flat. And then I take the front. Because I like how it, when it looks like this for some reason. This thing is hot, y'all. So I'm going to turn this off. It just has like an on and off switch. That's it. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm done with that. And then I just take my... Uh, got to be glue blasting free spray and I just spray it on it just to hold that same that thing works miracles honey This is my brush that I used earlier for um, my eyebrows, the um, e.l.f. brush. So I just take it and run it through the middle. I don't put no more product on it. Just whatever is left up here will do the job. And then just kind of just. Corruption and all that. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. I'm done. I'm almost done. I'm just going to go ahead and. Do a little bit of baby hair and that's it every time i want to do a video i can never find my stuff so i just put the eco styling gel the um organic one it's organic i don't know the green one i put it in here so i'm just going to use a little bit put a little bit on there you know what i'm saying don't want to eat too much baby hair you know it looks fake This flash, this light on this camera is so bright I can barely really see. So I hope it looks as good as I think. I feel like I'm doing a lot of baby hair. For some reason, whenever I wash my hair and I do it, the first time is always a big, a lot of baby hair. You ever do your hair and it feel like you don't really get into it until like two, three days later? You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you know what I'm saying. Let's see, you guys. So this is the finished look for time. Tonight, like I said, I will show you guys in the morning before I go to work to the actual finish, finish, final look. Alright guys, today is the next day. Everything's down. So good. So far, so good. What you want, Nova? <laughs> I wet it first. This is just a spray bottle with only water in it. Just with spray it. Because when I brush it, when it's dry, it seems to um, like have a lot of shedding. And I hate that. So I'm going to brush it out. This thing feels so good. So fresh. I love it. This is Cantu Natural Hair Define and Shine Custard. Yeah, like two, two little fingers to put it in. Put it on the hair. Make sure you get the ends and the top. And once I finish, I take the hair and scrunch it up like this. talk about that's pretty much
much it. And I do the same to the other side. So that's pretty much it.